If you've been following along, you know I'm building my own game engine in C++. It's a big project, but I wanted to give you a progress update to show you where things stand, what's coming next, and to give you an idea of what the engine can currently do. It's a bit of a behind the scenes video, but I think it's important to be transparent about what the engine currently looks like. And first news is the name of the engine. For internal purposes, the engine was called Minigame Engine, but that name was already taken. After many days of brainstorming, I came up with the Funny Tinker Engine. I don't have a logo or anything, but it emphasizes the core of the project. To create an engine where you can tinker with the internals, it all makes sense and is very readable. If you're curious why I'm even making my own game engine, I made a whole video about that and it will be linked down in the description, but the short of it is, I love the challenge and the control I have over the game development process in it. It's been a few months since I started and I have to say that I have never had this much fun working on my personal project. Surprisingly, making an engine isn't hard. At first I was very overwhelmed, but then I realized that at their core, even complex engines are just few key systems working together. But the challenge comes from making an engine that works well and makes sense. That's a bit more difficult and I still often struggle with the higher level concepts of game engine development. But enough of that, let's take a look at the engine now. Well, this is it. We are now rendering textures. We even have some sort of interactive inspector window going on. It's pretty cool, but how close are we to making a game like Petcat in it? Well, we're still miles away from having an entire game in the engine. But if you've seen my Twitter, don't feel pressured to follow, I don't post many updates there. I put a simple parkour showcase there. So what can we do in the engine right now? Let's break it down. On the left, you can see entities. We can add them and select them for editing in the inspector. The inspector is super bare bones at the moment, but don't worry, I'll fancy it up with gizmos and draggables when we get to actually creating levels in it. Let's start the game and see what it does. The game loop begins. The first thing that happens is that the player falls and see, the player doesn't fall through the ground. I'll definitely make a whole video about how the collision system works once I tidy up the code. It's all made by me by hand. Let's create a simple level for our parkour. In this sped up footage, we can see that the basics of a game engine are already visible. Walking on the ground works as we'd expect. The player is sliding around with a velocity component modifying the player's position over time. We can also jump and go up slopes, so there's already some kind of gameplay forming. There's already a lot going on behind the scenes, but I'm trying to keep the engine lean and focused. If you have any questions about the engine, you can ask them in the comments. I'm trying to answer all of them, and if we get a set of really good questions, I can make a dedicated video answering them. So, what's next for the engine? Definitely polishing the main loop of the game. Currently, when I turn the V-Sync on, the player moves around weirdly. After that, it's polishing the entire code base because right now it's kind of a mess since I was focused on building something that works first. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you want to.